have it, everybody. It is Thursday night. Time for another episode of Thrifty Business. Oh, Chris is being noisy. So I'm going to mute Chris here for a second. Hey, noisy Chris. <laughs> I'm your one host, Vegas Jay, and with me tonight is a very... Oh, my gosh, Chris, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Chris, be quiet for a sec, please. <laughs> you said you muted me. Oh, I did because you were up. I just stopped. With me tonight is my special co-host from the middle of the country, Lindy Glenn. How are you, Lindy? I'm good. How are you doing, Jay? I am dandy. What a great show tonight, man. We got a jam-packed show. Got a great co-host. I got three great guests with me. Uh, my first guest, you've already seen him. You've heard him a few times already. Chris Green, how are you, Chris? I'm good, Jay. How are you? Sorry for getting here last minute, but that's just how I do it. That's cool. <laughs> and then we have Rich and Nyla Sayak. Hi, hello. hello, Rich and Nyla. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing awesome. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's get right to our first topic, as always. Time for Jay's Tiki Talker. Each week I uh, drink a uh, different rum out of a different tiki mug, and I try and match it up with my guests or my co-hosts. So to match up with my co-hosts tonight, there is a brand new tiki bar in the middle of the country in Kansas City called Tiki Cat. And I just got this mug as a present for my friend Lisa, so I want to thank her. I'm going to have a little sip of the rum. So if you're in the middle of the country and you get to Kansas City and go to Tiki Cat, they have a giant display of tiki mugs. The bottom two rows were all purchased from me, so I got a little connection to the bar. I have not been there yet, but when I am there, I'll let everyone know. And then the rum I'm drinking tonight is Appleton VX. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, no, Appleton, yeah, Appleton VX. So I wanted to tell a little quick story I've told before, but it's a funny story. So Chris Green, my good friend, is on vacation in Jamaica. And he, uh, oh, oh, Chris has a little mug too there. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what Chris is drinking in a second. But Chris was in Jamaica and, and sell service in Jamaica is spotty at best. And I said, Chris, there's, a, there's an Appleton blend that they only sell at the Appleton estate in Jamaica. Can you pick it up for me? And Chris said, yeah, no problem, Jay. So a friend of ours, Barrington, was going by Appleton on his way to see Chris. Barrington picked it up. Chris texts me, hey, Jay. I got the Appleton 50 like you asked, and then he was gone from social media because of the Wi-Fi. Now, the problem with that sentence is the rum I wanted him to pick up was $300. The rum he told me he just picked up was $5,000. And so now I can't get a hold of him, and I'm like, is he playing a joke, or did he really buy that? Because now I have to pay my friend back $5,000, and I'll be divorced. So I was shitting my pants, and finally Chris came back and went, oh, Wait, what'd you tell me to pick up? I go, the special blend. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I got you. I'm like, oh, oh, thank God. I had a heart attack for a second. So, Chris, what are you drinking tonight? Oh, I'm, I'm actually drinking uh, Nestle Pure Life. But I can put it in this, <laughs> in, in my zombie. This this comes from, uh, was this from Orlando? Was this from? Yep, that's Trader Sam's. Yeah. Do you have nail, po Do you have nail polish on, by the way? Dude, I have, I have toe polish on. I, well, that's okay. What's this nail polish shenanigan? What is going on? <laughs> We're not going to get to the show now. My mind's blown. What's happening? My, here? my little girl is eight, and she has gotten into nail polish. So everybody in the house from grown-ups on down have painted nails and painted toes. And I love it. I love every, I love every little nail that I have right now. And uh, Lindy, you got anything to drink? You got a tiki mug there? What's happening? Anything? Um, I have fruit punch. <laughs> That's good. And uh, and Rich, I know you've got you've got some Hawaiian going on there. <laughs> I got a little Hawaiian cozy cup for my uh, for my uh, uh, lovely beer that I have here from Chicago, old style. Nice. All right, we're gonna say uh, goodbye to our guests for a little bit. Show. And then we'll bring them back on at uh, as soon as we're done with our segments. So let's get right to our first segment. Oh, actually, I take that back. Before the show, I asked Lindy, I go, hey, you got any pictures of us at eBay Open? And oh, she goes, yeah. I, was bad at take, I was bad at taking pictures. You took one of us. And I looked. This is the only picture I have of us. I obviously took it just as the lights were changing. What an awful picture of us. But that's all <laughs> we have of me and you from eBay Open. So, whoops, not a good photo. <laughs> Yes, Lindy and I are red purple. All right, let's get right to our segments and let you know about our our scores of the week, where Lindy and I will share with you the cool shit that we sold this week. Usually it's some good bolos, things you should be on the lookout for. 
And I think I have you set up first, Lindy. So there you go. Yeah, your first one is this awesome kilt. Oh, I need to change the screen so I can see it. <laughs> My bad. Okay. So yeah, this was actually a find that I found at the bins. I thought it was just like a wool schoolgirl skirt and it wasn't. It actually turned out to be a wool kilt. And I expected it to sit for a really long time and it ended up selling to a kilt wholesaler for like $25 shipped and it only took like a couple of months to sell. So turned a dollar into, you know, a pretty decent profit. So I was happy I think with I, that. I think I should get a kilt. I would look very good in one. <laughs> <laughs> but this almost looks like a kilt, another a nice tartan plaid there. Yeah, this was something that I actually saw at the thrift and it was like hanging out of the aisle kind of staring at me and I grabbed it and it ended up being Tommy Hilfiger. So it was just red plaid retro golf pants and they ended up selling for, you know, 27 bucks plus shipping and I paid $2 for it. So I was pretty happy with that. Yeah, I like those. Those are sweet. Nice little pair of jeans here. Yeah, those are Diesel's. Uh, it was the second pound, second pound, oh my gosh, the second pair that I've ever found of Diesel jeans. Usually they go for a little bit more than that. Uh, I might have just timed the auction wrong, but they still ended up going for, you know, $29.99 on the first bid plus shipping. So that was pretty decent. I think I spent maybe $4 on those and they sold within the first week. And this is actually and something. Hey, a live, a, this is the first, Lindy. We've yeah. never had a live score because it's going to be a score because there's bids, but we've never had a live one. So this is a first. Yeah, this is going on right now. It ends <laughs> on Sunday. And I actually paid nothing for this. I paid nothing for it. It was in a box that my mother gave to me from a friend of hers that she was getting ready to dump off at Goodwill. And she gave it to me, and there was Johnny was in there. I put it up, and current bids are just a little over $53. And last time I looked, I think there was like four or 500 views and like 50 watchers. So <laughs> I'm anxious to see what it's going to get bidded up to by Sunday night. Oh, yeah. And let me uh, let me add to the watch list so I will keep an eye on it. And, hey, I, um, I have a group called The Secret Beach. It's my subscription group. And um, – I just did a, a, a photography webinar and I talked about angling your outfits towards the camera. I like how you did that. So very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right, let me do my scores here. Uh, if you remember from a haul way, way while back, uh, I found this Bob Mackie uh, scarf, <laughs> wearable art. And it was really cool because of all the uh, different red things on the uh, on the scarf took a little while, but I paid a buck fifty for it, and I sold it for thirty dollars. And of course, it didn't, I did free shipping. It didn't weigh nothing. It was like a uh, one and a half ounces, so it didn't weigh anything. This I kind of bought out as a joke because man, what an awful eighties dress! Did you rock anything like this back in the day, Lindy? Um, no. Well, maybe you're too young. <laughs> maybe a nineties dress. <laughs> Mm, no. <laughs> Look at the ruffles and the shoulder pads, but I got $55 for it. I paid three bucks for it, kind of on as a goof, but it sold pretty quick. I only had it up for maybe a month at tops. Yeah, had I seen something like that, I probably would have bought it too. Definitely. Yeah. Now, this, this, Lindy, is my quickest sale in a long, long time. These pants were listed for about three and a half minutes. Wow. And I had $69.99 or best offer. Someone shot me 60 bucks, and I was like, heck yeah. I paid five bucks for the pants. They are loudmouth. If you are not familiar with loudmouth pants, when we're over with the show, go go to eBay, search loudmouth, sort by uh, highest sold, and uh, you will be impressed and amazed. If you know who the golfer John Daly is, bigger dude, blonde hair, likes to drink, these pants famous. Hmm. And then, you know, for a while, I was kind of down on looking through T-shirts because I wasn't finding any good value, and I was buying too much stuff that wasn't worth my time. But I keep finding decent T-shirts if you dig a little bit. This is a band, Coven, from the late 60s, a psychedelic band. And I am i never heard of them. Came home, I paid a buck ninety nine for it. Came home, found out they were this psychedelic band that had, like, one album. 
uh, was up for maybe a month and a half and sold for $27. So they, I can still find good, uh, good t-shirts in the t-shirt bin. All right, you have seen our scores. Now it's time for... It's time for our duds. Don't let our mistakes be yours. Our Duds of the Week is brought to you by WorthPoint. WorthPoint is the largest resource for identifying, researching, and valuing antiques, art, and vintage collectibles. And had Lindy or I used... Worth point, we probably wouldn't have these duds. All right, Lindy, your dud is up first. Okay. Ooh, $3. Woo. Yes. Um, I had this jacket for probably a year. A year, and it was never expensive. And I just kept lowering the price and lowering the price. And finally, someone gave me an offer for $3, and I just <laughs> took it. So... <laughs> Do not buy wet seal jackets in size medium. <laughs> it took right. forever for that thing to sell. <laughs> uh, $3. I love it. And hot on the heels of that is $4.99. <laughs> Do not pick up old Navy size medium jackets either. <laughs> uh, this one, again, was about nine months to a year. And just didn't sell, didn't sell, didn't sell. At least I got, you know, five bucks plus shipping out of this one. But, yeah, we'll never buy an old navy khaki jacket again. A denim jacket, yes. Khaki jackets, yes. no. No. All right, never real quick before I get to my, my uh, duds, I forgot to mention we are having a contest tonight. So you, if you're watching live, you got to be in the chat to participate in the contest. We're giving away uh, – Chris Green is hosting a merch event in Seattle – and that's what we're talking to him about. Uh, merch is making T-shirts, and which Lindy told me she's just getting into. Uh, making T-shirts on Amazon and making money from them. And then Rich and Nyla are putting on the Ecom Chicago event uh, in Chicago. Duh. Uh, it, that's in October. Chris's group, uh, event is in September. And we're giving away a pass to each of them. And so you got to be watching live, which it is Thursday night, August 24th. And you got to be in the chat to participate and win. So... Stay tuned, but just letting you know, those you're watching live, if you're not in the chat, you got to get to the chat to be able to play. And while you're over there, hey, give us a thumbs up. Especially, you know, here, I'll put Lindy on the screen. She's much cuter than me. If you like Lindy, give us a thumbs up, please. There we go. All right, let's get to my duds. Uh, you know, I love telling you guys about CDs. I make a shit ton of money on them, but every once in a while, I do make a mistake. This was one of them. I bought this CD. It is from an Italian uh, low-budget horror film, but typically those kind of soundtracks do well. They're, they're tough to get. People have an affinity for them. Not this one. Although you might think, oh, hey, Jay, you sold a CD for $18. That seems pretty good. Problem is, uh, Lindy, I bought it for $25. Oh. So not that you're ever going to find this soundtrack. You probably never will. But I do want to share with you to realize that you are going to have losses. That is called business, and you just roll with it. So I did generate some money. I didn't lose my entire shirt, but I spent 25 thinking I was going to sell for like 60 or 70, and I sold it for 18 after like two years. So sometimes it don't work out. But speaking of not working out, <clears throat> this is a, a striped Tommy Bahama shirt. But what was kind of cool about it, if I can make show you here, there was a jacquard print of crabs throughout it. So jacquard means it's kind of imp it's imprinted in the shirt. And I guess no one cared because it finally sold at auction for $19.99. And Lindy, I listed it on March 14th, 2014. Oh. <laughs> so yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was hanging <laughs> around just, just a little bit too long. So wah, wah, oh, wah. <laughs> All right, you've seen our scores, you've seen our duds. Now it's time for <laughs> Close Encounters of the Thrifty Kind, 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 where Lindy and I will tell you stories about funny, weird, angry, mischievous uh, events, people, or items that happen to us in the thrift stores. Unfortunately, Lindy doesn't have the prop, but she has a great story. <laughs> Plus, also, she fooled me. <laughs> Yeah, so please tell the whole story because that's even that's a good funny part too because I'm an idiot. Okay, <laughs> the whole story. Well, okay, so 
usually there's not anything really weird that happens to me. I mean, I live in a small town. I don't really get weird things, see weird things. Nothing weird ever happens when I'm out thrifting. But something weird happened when I got home from thrifting. I had brought home a whole bin of jeans because that's what I thrift most of the time is jeans. And I was going through pockets to make sure there was no cigarette butts or, you know, money in the pockets. And I reached into a pair of men's jeans and pulled out a used Victoria's Secret pink thong. <laughs> but the irony was that the men's jeans were lucky brand jeans. So the <laughs> irony was fantastic. The irony is fantastic. And so... <laughs> we were chatting last night <laughs> about this story and he goes, Oh my gosh, do you still have them? Because that would be awesome for the show. And I told him, I said, yeah, I washed them and I wear them on date night. And he was like, really? And I was like, no freak. I threw them away. <laughs> so I have this, hey, Lindy, I, I thrifted this bang head here block of wood. So for myself, I'll bang my head here. Cause I'm an idiot. <laughs> but, but, Here's why I asked you, Lindy, because one time, here's what I found in a pocket, and it still sits on my desk, my desk, a used pregnancy test. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, okay, so it makes sense. That's why you asked if I kept it. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Used pregnancy test on my desk. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So, my, my uh, thrifting counter, the close kind. Now, I know this picture looks a little shitty. I was trying to grab a screen grab of a video I did. I use an app called 8TV. And you can make 45 second videos and I make them about things I find in the thrift store. So I took five t-shirts and hung them across this top rack of uh, ties. And what I was gonna do was I'm doing this video, holding my phone in selfie mode, walking in front of these t-shirts, talking about them. And some dude was so annoyed I was gonna do a video that he had to look at the ties that second. So he's <laughs> like, can you move these shirts? And he moved two of them. He looked through the ties for about three and a half seconds and then walked away. He just wanted to do it to be a jerk. And here's that jerk. <laughs> <laughs> and I he was with like a jerk. And I was with friends. And it wasn't like I just thought that as as he looked for three and a half seconds and left, the three girls I was thrifting with went, What an ass. <laughs> I go, I know. He just wanted to interrupt me. He didn't want to actually look at ties. He just wanted to interrupt me. And yes, this was at Crazy Town Savers. So it all makes a lot of sense. <laughs> all right. Now it is time for our thrifty tips of the week. And this segment is brought to you by Stamps.com. <clears throat> postage on demand. Stamps.com's online posted service enables small businesses, enterprises like me and Lindy and all of you guys, and online retailers to print U.S. Postal Service approved postage which is a computer, printer, and internet connection right from their home or office. And I'm still cleaning up from a party I had a month ago. I just found someone's top and someone left their gum here, unchewed. And so I got to use stamps.com tomorrow to send stuff literally all over the world. I got to send stuff to Australia, LA, San Francisco. So I use stamps.com for everything. All right, who did I have up first? Oh, uh, your, your, thr your thrifty tip is just you talking. Well, yeah, kind of. I have a visual. So, I mean, this is the thriftiest tip that I can come up with. And I mean, anybody that follows me on YouTube or Instagram knows that I say this all the time, but I just, I can't help it. Okay. So if anybody stores their merchandise when they ship or when they inventory it, if you're spending a whole bunch of money on like self-sealing clear poly bags, you don't need to. You can buy a box of a hundred for a little over $2 at Walmart. They are just Walmart great value band brand twist tie bread bags, and they're like two cents a piece. You have to seal them yourself, but it's a cheap option, and if you run out of bags, you don't have to order them online and wait for them to arrive. You can just run out of Walmart. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I like that. All right. It's the My Thrifty Tip, and I've been teasing it, and I did a video on it. Concern uh, revolves around this badass phone I just picked up. So there are two vintage Ronald McDonald phones, one where he's standing and one where he's sitting. And the rare of the two is this one right here. Now, this was in the just donated bin. You can't pick through the just donated bin, but I thought I would try my luck. 
Because I think I've got some sweet conversation skills. Put out the just in bin. I set it in my cart, and I got in line. And I had two options: a young girl, uh, probably early, late teens, early twenties, newer clerk, and one the the daytime uh, not manager, but like second in command. And so I hemmed and hawed. I thought, where will I have a better chance to actually get a price and purchase this? So I went with the manager uh, girl and. When I walked up, I got everything else out of the card first, and she saw it, and she goes, oh, did they price that? Totally busted me. And I'm like, oh, I uh, I just happened to grab this out of the Just Donate bin. I know that's a no, no, no. But I was hoping since I was here, I it was now I could get a price, and, and if it's a price I like, I would just buy it right now. And she goes, yeah, it's got to go to the back and get processed. And I'm like, ah, cool, I know the rules. You know, I always shop here. That's that's no biggie. And then she goes, well, hang on a minute. You're, you know, you're so nice. Hang on a minute. So she called the guy who would price it. And so, and, and we're finishing up the transaction. And I'm like, hey, you know what? Just finish me up. There's a line. If, if he calls you right back, cool. Then I'll get back in line. I don't want to hold anybody up. So, so the key is to be as sweet and nice as possible. Even if that's not your nature, be as sweet as nice as possible. So she started ringing up the next person. She paged the guy again. She paged another lady. She goes, oh, I'm so sorry. She, to me, she says, I'm sorry for making you wait. I go, Oh man, look, I'm the one that's throwing the monkey wrench in. I got no problems waiting. I'm just back here being cool, just chilling out. And since no one answered, she goes, All right, I'm gonna make an executive decision. $39.99. And I had a 20% off, so I got it for 32 bucks. And I'm gonna sell it for about a hundred dollars. So now I don't really recommend always picking through the just in bin, but if you need something done to be as sweet and as nice as possible, not always, but sometimes we'll get you the desired result you want. And it worked. Doesn't always work. I've had things taken back out of my hand. No, you can't do it. And what you do at that point is say, oh, I'm sorry, and just move on. And that's it. And I'm not normally all that sweet, Lindy, so sometimes I know i got to be sweet. You're sweet to me. <laughs> oh, I am. But, you know, some days I'm in a grumpy mood. I just like the thrift. Like like that guy That guy who was just being a jerk to me made me kind of grumpy when I was in that thrift store, you know. <laughs> all right, that was our thrifty tip. Now it's time for... You have got to be shipping me where we tell you what to do and what not to do. Lindy's going to tell you what to do. I'm going to tell you what not to do. And you've got to be shipping me is brought to you by Bubble Fast. Bubble Fast, a family-owned business. He shipping supplies to the online community since 1999. Oops. <clears throat> Bubble Fast, Internet's home for shipping supplies. And if you use JNA as a coupon code, you will get 10% off your entire order. And I want to read a quote. Now, Mark was supposed to be on. Mark from Bubble Fast, who helps throw the e-com event. A family friend emergency had to take care of, so he's not here. But if you remember from a few months ago, I bought cheaper uh, bubble wrap because it was on sale someplace else. I cheated on my Bubble Fast, and it was crappy bubble wrap. There is degrees of bubble wrap, and this was so thin, as you touched it, it would pop. It was horrible. And so we finally got through it and ordered bubble wrap from Bubble Fast. And just off, the, just off the cuff, my assistant said, this bubble wrap is so thick, I forgot what good bubble wrap was like. <laughs> and so, yes, order good bubble wrap. If you're shipping breakables, even though you think you're saving money, you actually have to use more bubble wrap on shitty bubble wrap. So don't do that. All right, Lindy, what is your shipping tip this week? Okay, well, again, I don't know how obvious this is, but it's something that took me a little bit of time to realize I could do. But so if you have a box, this is my demonstrator box. If you have a box and you're shipping by weight and the item that you have, we're going to use some peanuts. The item that you have is smaller than the box. Rather than stuffing things like paper or items that are going to add weight to the box, Something that not everybody knows you can do, but you can actually take a box cutter and split the corners a little bit. And where this would be where the top would normally fold, you can actually bend in the corners. Ah, ah, you see what I'm doing there? You can actually bend in the Very corners nice. to fit the box a little better so that it alleviates your need to stuff the box full of things to keep the item from rolling around. It doesn't add any weight to the box at all. You could even trim off some of the excess cardboard and save yourself a couple of ounces too. Hey, Lynn, you know what box I do that quite a bit on is the shoe box, that long, thin cardboard box. Mm -hmm. Yep. When I, when I sell some long, straight, you know, straight things, 
that are not real tall. I like that box because that th that thin cardboard is saves on weight. And then when I get to the point where it's covered and I got this much space, I do the same thing you did. I cut it down to the sides. Boom. Yep. Save a lot of weight. Save Absolutely. Okay. So if you look back here, you will see. Okay, am I, okay, am I, okay, so it's not just me. There's no sound. Hold on, there's no sound. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't know if it was just me or not. Ha <laughs> ha, I bumped the mute button, my bad, starting over. Okay, okay there you go. I was like, I don't know if it's just me, I'm just going to sit here silent. My bad, I, I bumped the mute button coming by, my bad, sorry about that. All right, so what I was saying was I bought four vintage Tiki Bobs, these are rare Tiki mugs on eBay in one transaction, and modern Tiki mugs are thick, Vintage tiki mugs were very thin. This this uh seller, holy cow, here's what they packed the box with. Okay, so here's the box that got the mugs in. The fourth one, I'm gonna open it right now on the air. Okay, so we did have some bubble wrap, so that's cool. Walmart bags as packing material we have an uh a stop and shop bag, not cool. Oh, look, more bags. This is not packing material, people. Oh, but wait, we have plastic from an item. Uh, oh, we got plastic from USPS shipping supplies. Again, not cool. Okay, bubble wrap. That's all right. We got a lot of thin tissue paper. Not cool on vintage mugs. Oh, look, more trash. No, no. Hey, look, more trash. That is not packing material. Are you shitting me? Hey, look, more trash. Come on. This is insane. Well, more plastic poop bags are what we call them in our house. Oh, oh, wait, look at all these shopping bags. This is insane. How these mugs made it to me, Lindy, I have not a clue, but <laughs> I have the fourth one. Let's open it on the air because I want to show you something else I have told you in the past not to do, and I'm going to show you again not to do it because it's a waste of your packing supplies. So let's make sure this one is, is whole and not broken. Feels pretty good. Okay, so they did have it wrapped in bubble. And then they had it in tissue. That doesn't really do anything. But here's what really doesn't do anything. They have stuffed it with tissue paper. Great. What? This ain't saving it. Don't waste your tissue paper. But here's what I really want to show. I can pull out this piece. But the piece in the bottom, I can't really get out. I'm a 47-year-old man, normal strength. If some older customer with arthritis was buying this mug, they're never getting this out. So please do not put stuff all the way to the bottom because this does nothing. It does nothing but waste your packing material. But it's whole. It is whole, so I'm not complaining that much. But I'm telling you, it don't look good, and I'm shocked they made it. Trash <laughs> is not packing materials. Please, please stop. If you're watching this show and you're using trash, don't. Please don't. Please. please. Plus, it doesn't look good, Lindy. It doesn't look professional. No, I, no. I mean, mm -mm. The only bonus is I was running out of poop bags because I haven't bought any groceries this week, so I have a whole bunch of new poop bags for my doggy. That's the only bonus. <laughs> well, it was a bonus buy. Yes, there we go. All right, now it's time for... Our eBay tip of the week brought to you by FreeUp. FreeUp with three E's is the hands-on solution to hire remote e-commerce workers. FreeUp vets hundreds of workers a week. So you get to access the top 1% of online talent whenever you need them. Sign up is free, no monthly fees, no minimum hours. Get the workers you need when you need them and only pay for the hours they work. Brenda, hey, Brenda, a loyal watcher of the show, heard Nate when he was on, is now on her way to building a remote empire with her team of free up workers. Go to freeup.com with three E's to start to free up your time and scale your business. <clears throat> All right, what is your eBay tip of the week? Okay, so my tip is to if you're wanting to schedule postings but you're not wanting to pay 10 cents per item in order to have them scheduled okay so this is something that i do because i'm super stingy even 10 cents adds up when it's multiple items if there is a certain item that i want to end at a certain time on a certain day for an auction 
rather than schedule them in eBay and pay 10 cents per listing, I will simply complete the listing but leave it as a draft. And I will set an alarm on my phone to remind me to go in and activate the draft. So, like if there's an auction that I want to end at 7 o'clock on Sunday, I'll set an alarm for 7 o'clock on Thursday night to remind myself to start my 10-day auction. And it completely avoids paying any extra fees to eBay, and it doesn't slip my mind to start the auction. Yeah, I've really, my wife and I really use our phone alarm. We use reminders. We use a calendar because you don't know this yet, but as you get older, I was in the middle of talking with my admins today and I forgot where I was going. Like, I, like I'm just like, Neh. so we talked about something else and like 10 minutes later, I'm like, oh, I remember what I was going to tell you. So as you get older, you forget stuff. So man, when your phone dings or your, your, your things pop up, your alarm goes off, it really helps. My wife has flooded our pool four times. And I said, if you don't use your alarm next time, you can't use the pool. <laughs> All right, so I've been doing the eBay tips since we started this segment, and I've been usually doing it from the selling standpoint, uh, but I got these mugs from a buying standpoint. I want to share the tip with you to make sure you're fully aware of this. When you use the app uh, on your phone for eBay, uh, so for instance, this was a mug that was ending in 48 minutes and 47 seconds, and so the countdown timer is right on your app. In case you don't see it, I did they make it a little bit bigger there. And so what I did was I threw a bid in for these mugs because I want to flip them. And I'll talk about that in, uh, in the next show. Uh, but I was waiting for the last second. So once you, you don't have to stay on this screen, you go and you get your bid logged in. And then right at the top of this screen, let me make it a little bit bigger for you. That is where the timer is. So you can be your own. What a snipe bid is. There are websites that you can go to and they'll bid for you at the last second, but you can be your own sniper. Just wait till the last second. I entered my highest bid and as I was watching it tick down, I saw the bids going up and I'm like, oh shoot, I think I'm gonna lose this at 275. I'm gonna go 280 so I could enter, an, I entered a new quick last minute bid and I had it set at 280 and I waited till it said two seconds and bam, I hit confirm bid. It threw the 280 in right the last second and I won the four mugs. So. Make sure that you, there, if you're going to bid on it and you're going to bid the last second, just watch that timer. Just watch it. All right. One little bit of housekeeping, then we'll get our guests in here. We're going to talk all about kinds of fun stuff, and then we're going to give away some stuff. The Secret Beach is my subscription-based Facebook group where every month I do a webinar for the group. Every month I have a guest do a webinar. We do bonus uh, thrifty business shows. We do how-to videos. And I throw a kick-ass party in the summertime for all the members of the Seeker Beach. It is opening again very soon. It's going to open in about three weeks. So I know a lot of people have been asking about it. They've been asking about what it is. When is it opening? Three weeks. It'll be open again. And so uh, I will have that in the group, obviously, uh, in the thrifting board when it opens and prices and everything. Uh, but uh, like this past week, I did a webinar on, or actually Monday, I did a webinar on taking good photos and man, people love the webinar. And then tomorrow we're doing a webinar on the new promoted listing. So, and, and everything that we have done since the date opened in November is still there for you to view. So there are all these, I mean, there's like 40 some webinars waiting and all kinds of other stuff. And Lindy, in case you have an interest in going on a cruise, we are just getting ready to book our first Secret Beach cruise for January of 2018. We are taking off for the Western Caribbean. We're going to have a fun cruise. We're going to do some learning. My mom and dad are going to be there. We're, they're going to do a little webinar. It's going to be awesome. So uh, if you're interested, stay tuned for more details and come cruise with us in the Western Caribbean, starting in New Orleans with a tiki bar party, of course, because as my friend John Lawson said, the sun sets and uh, rises and sets on Tiki with you, doesn't it? I said, yes, it does. That is my entire life. All right, let's get our guests in here. Let me uh, ring the doorbell. And we'll get them right in. Hey, it's Chris, Rich, and Nyla. What's happening, everybody? How are you? Hey, we're doing great over here. Awesome show. That's pretty interesting with that little uh, Ronald McDonald. Dude, I'm on my second water, Sometimes man. you got to have the skills. It's a lit show. Oh, you're show. on your second water. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you are living. You got your nails painted and you drank two waters. You are living life on the edge, sucker. <laughs> Dude, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm about to get extreme. 
It's really spicy. All right, do it. Oh my God, dual glasses, two waters. That's crazy. Here we go. All right, so the reason our guest, oh, 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 Rich has got this. Oh, shit, I got no sunglasses. On <laughs> Chris, I couldn't find, I couldn't find your glasses. I gave it to uh, my granddaughter, and I think she took them home. But hey, the original glasses you guys were talking about, Barrett and Macintosh. Remember Ecom One when we we uh, skyped him in from uh, from Jamaica? That was so awesome. You guys were all there. <laughs> it's like a day. <laughs> Do I right. tell you, these I got, are the I best the giveaways. Is there, is there oh yeah. And, and Scanner Mama <laughs> changed its name, so these are rare collectible <laughs> collector items. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and banana yellow. That's the rarest color. Just like the city Ronald is the rarest McDonald phone. Right. All right. So, Lindy, the reason we have all three of these guests on tonight is because we're talking about two upcoming e-commerce events. Rich and I are, Rich and I are going to tell us about Ecom Chicago, which is in, wait for it, Chicago. Yes, that's right, October. And then Chris is going to talk about, is it called Merch World or just Merch? What, what's the event called? It doesn't really have a name. I have all the merch domains, and I needed a place to put it, so I looked in my GoDaddy and said, merch.world, that's a, that's a good one. So that is actually a domain, everybody. If you've never gone to a .world website, if you type in merch.world or www.merch.world, you'll end up at a website, and it's the website for our Merch by Amazon conference, which I am definitely pushing the the boundaries a little bit in uh in in taking their name i am not with amazon even though i wear a hat i do not work for merch even though i talk about it all the time but i know all the guys at amazon so it's a risk i'm willing to take but no it is not an official amazon sanctioned event although it is in seattle for a reason because you know maybe some secret guests are going to come by that i can't say are actually coming but we'll get into that we'll get into it oh so seattle so is eddie vetter coming by <laughs> I, I can't say. I can't say. <laughs> but before we get to both our guests and we hear about their event, Lindy attended her first big eBay event, right? Lindy, that was your first one, correct? Yes, yes, that was my first one. So Lindy and I were at uh, eBay Open together. You saw the wonderful picture I took of us at the party. What an, what an awful picture I took. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, so you know, one of the things that we, we talk about, and Chris, Chris will tell you too, and, and everyone will tell you, you go to these events, and for a variety of reasons, obviously there's some learning to be had. There's usually a lot of fun and shenanigans, but the real, the real uh, reason, I think, it's the relationships you build, the business deals you cut, and it's the friends you get to see live and in person for the first time. Now, Lindy and I have been friends for a while now. She's been on my show. We chat quite often, but we had never met. So this event gave us that opportunity to say hi in person give each other a hug, and then hang out all week. And so that's what's really fun because this is such a great time to live. You have all these connections with social media, and you make friends. Like, I'm going to meet a friend I've had for a year now that I've never met. He lives in London. I'm going to London. We're going to hang out. So it's going to be cool. So, so Lindy, tell, us, tell me about your experience at eBay Open, uh, what you thought about it. Did you have a good time? Uh, was I taller than you expected? That kind of thing. <laughs> you are just as tall as I expected. But I, I loved it. It's the biggest thing that I was expecting to do was networking, and I did a ton of networking. I think that that's primarily why people go to conferences and, and meeting up. Not, you know, to, to be motivated by speeches and to hear about up and coming things and to learn things, yes. But the networking is so important because. There are things that you can learn from other sellers and other people that do what that you do that you might not know that you didn't know. You might, yeah. So it's just, it's networking. The networking was the absolute best part, in my opinion. And the whole the whole event was amazing. And I would say the second best part was the party, huh? Yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Fair naked ladies, bowling, cupcakes. What a party. What that a was party. pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. All right, so let's go to Rich and Nyla. So your event uh, is called Ecom Chicago, and and what what year is this, guys? How, how many have you done so far? Uh, well, this will this will be the fourth. Um, I don't know, Jay, if you were there the first year or not, but uh, I know Chris was because we uh, we brought in um, we brought in Barrington McIntosh that year, 
And I have to uh, agree with what Lindy said is that the amazing part about it, because everybody that I hear talking about why would I want to go somewhere, why do I need to go to a conference, and it, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, well, you get to meet your peers, people that you don't meet all of the time. Everybody can no way possibly know everything in the e-com world. So if you think you're going to not talk to somebody that knows something different, that might be selling something different, it's just a whole different world out there. And you, know, you get to encounter new vendors, suppliers, different ideas. And sure, we have a lot of people talking about the neat stuff that's coming up. Uh, this year, we're fortunate to have you know, eBay coming in. So um, you know, meeting the experts and meeting the people that uh, may know the tricks that you don't know. And I just talked with Lindy earlier, uh, things that she shops for that are just so bizarre that I would never think of buying. And, and, and you know, just by learning through her uh, what to look for at the end of the year that nobody else would think about. So it, it's awesome, though, to think about on that aspect of, of learning from other people. And for some reason, uh, Ridge and Nyla's uh, internet connection just became Bridget's Kentucky internet connection, and it got a little wonky there. So, uh, but it, it's weird when we were doing the pre-show, they were fine for a while, and then it went a little wonky, and then they were fine again. So, I'm going to pop over to Chris, but I do want to share that uh, Rich has his Ecom Chicago polo on, and so do I. But my beard kind of obscures, uh, whoops, <laughs> kind of obscures the uh, logo there. Rich, as you can see, mine you can't see so much. My beard gets in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, I'm so sorry, your events. Oh, it's all right. You know, it's hey, what, 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 you know, someone gave me grief for the sound quality of one of the shows last week. I'm like, hey, man, once I'm live and the internet decides to go poo poo, what am I going to do? I got to keep on trucking. Yeah. You just keep on pushing through, Lindy. You know, you're on YouTube all the time. Yeah, it, it happens. Keep going. Can't stop. <laughs> it does. And because a lot of times it does work itself out. So you just hope, you hope and pray. So, Chris, your event's coming up sooner. So, when is your event? Our event is September 6th and 7th in downtown Seattle. So West Coast is a no-brainer. East Coast, yeah, it's, it's further than Paris, believe it or not. <laughs> but but we have planes, so, you know, hop on that plane. Pay a little extra for the, uh, uh, the direct flight if you're going to Seattle from the East Coast. Um, but I say it's there for a reason. There is a big orange company in, uh, in Seattle. I heard they just bought Whole Foods. And uh, that's why we're doing the event there, because you never know who might stop by when you have a, a, a Merch by Amazon event in downtown Seattle. And I think most of your audience knows about Merch, because, you know, we did a show not too long ago. We talked about Merch, and, and hopefully you guys have uh, at least requested accounts and maybe had a little success. Uh, yeah. So now, and I got to imagine there's maybe a couple of you. Merch is where you make your own t-shirts on Amazon, but here's the beauty of it. You carry no inventory and you invest no money. And you might invest a little bit if you don't know how to design your own designs. You might have to pay a designer. But if you have the skills to do that and you, you have the ideas, you can make a lot of money and just sit there and collect royalties. That's beautiful. Now, Lindy said, Lindy was telling me you just got, you just got into merch. Yeah, I have, I think, six active live designs up right now but i can only have 10 and <laughs> i'm and i'm learning but i'm really hoping i'm enjoying it it's it's giving me some sort of a creative outlet because with ebay everything is so like rigid and straightforward and to the point and black and white but with something like merch it allows me to be creative and be kooky and do things like that so i'm excited about it yeah, that's a very common just, thing is people say that like I love that I can now be creative again because mm -hmm. of course I come from the Amazon world and I talk to a lot of sellers who have either purchased my books or they've watched videos and they think selling on Amazon or selling on eBay or selling a product is how they're going to make extra money. So they go and they sell products, but they, they don't have the creativity. So it, it doesn't kind of nurture their brain that, that they want. And then when they have merch, like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is, I get to be creative again. Right? right, and you can you can have some success. So when you're going through with your six designs, you've only got ten. You can only upload two per day. That's all right. That's like the learning curve that you go through. And if your stuff starts selling, they're going to give you as many slots as you want, and you're going to be like, yeah, this is great. So you keep doing your eBay stuff. You keep doing your YouTube stuff. You have some merch stuff. You get into that multiple streams of income coming in, and uh, and to me, that's what it's all about is just trying different things so that people can kind of settle on 
and really over index on the things that they enjoy the most which now can start making them money as well it's not a like this makes me money and this is fun you know there is a an overlap to those right yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Lindy have you had any sales yet uh, no not yet not yet but right. I'm also I'm also not promoting I decided that I was gonna start promoting after I had a good amount of when I have my 10 I want to start promoting so hopefully by the end of the weekend I'll be promoting and Chris, just to blow people's minds who still don't know, uh, and you're not going to say names or, or designs, obviously, but some of the people that hang out with you, what are they doing in a week in royalties? Well, you, you had lunch with her, right? No, uh, our, our, our schedules never jived, unfortunately, because okay. I was having back issues. So, She's the sweetest lady. I've known her for years. She actually, and you have met her before. She came to, was it Tommy Bahama's restaurant? Is that her name of a restaurant in Vegas? Yes. She was there when we played credit card roulette, and the bill was like uh, $400. We were, we were at Bahama Breeze. We were at Bahama Breeze. Bahama Breeze. $400 yeah, credit right. card roulette bill. And she got picked, and I felt bad because, like, she just kind of started hanging out with us. She kind of tagged along, and I was like, I felt so bad. So I had, like, a $200, like, American Express gift card. I, like, threw that in for her so she wouldn't. And I think I gave her $100, too, because I did want her to have to pay. I wouldn't, like, if you paid, yeah, like, you're out of luck. You know, like, it would have been fine. But yeah, so she had been there before. She's been, you know, she was there for ASD. She's doing private label. She's been selling. She's been trying different things. And she just shared her numbers coming off 30 days right at the end of the eclipse. And she cracked, and I love that she cracked these two numbers because it's so nice to have nice big round numbers. In 30 days sales leading up to the eclipse, over $100,000 in sales with over $40,000 in royalties, and she did not touch a single product. She did not ship a single box. She just collects the royalties, and she's like, I, I can't believe this works. Like, Why not? Let's see if I had this. <laughs> let's see if I had this right, Chris. She made $40,000 last month and really did nothing after she got the design up. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, amazing. now, who doesn't want to learn how to do that? Lindy's off and running. I know some of you in the yeah. chat haven't requested yet. You're not doing it. But that's why Chris is on. He's got an event. If you, if you want to get to Seattle, if you live near the West Coast, get there. Uh, and we're going to give away one pass to the event in a little bit. So stay tuned. We're going to do that. But let's get back to Rich and Nyla here. Let's see how the Internet connection is working now. Hi, guys. Hey, is that working better? I moved my uh, mic in. Yeah, it uh, sounds pretty good. So let's, uh, I got, I've got the uh, schedule, or not the schedule, but the, the speaker lineup for Ecom Chicago. So uh, remind us of the dates of Ecom Chicago. Okay, so uh, this year, our, our dates are uh, October 20th and 21st. Um, that's a uh, Friday and Saturday. We've done that always because um, it's much easier for people to take a little bit of time at the end of the week. We do know it's Q4. But our rates for our rooms are extremely uh, reasonable. I think my wife has lower prices on that. I think ninety six. Ninety six dollars for queen two queen beds. Oh, no. and one hundred and six for a king. So it's still a very good rate. And then uh, they also offer free transportation from O'Hare. All right, long I'm going to ask the chat. Hang, hang on, guys. I'm going to ask the chat because in my head, you guys sound really rough. So if uh, it. Is are you guys hearing the same thing, or is that just my end? Because if it's if it's sounding as bad, uh, yeah, bad sound again. Okay, so Rich and I just hang out. I'm gonna sell it for you. <laughs> I've got the schedule, the uh, the speakers in front of me, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of static. So you guys just be cool and be pretty. You're still on the screen, but I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about who's coming and what's happening because uh, myself, Chris Green, John Lawson, who who you all know, we're all gonna be there. Uh, Chris is going to talk about tiki mugs. I'm going to talk about merch. And uh, John Lawson is going to talk about finding used panties and jeans. So that's a great lineup. That is the best lineup for any e-com ever. No, in all seriousness, uh, I am there. And I'm doing a live thrifty business show. And look, you know, you guys know me. I love doing shows. And I have some grandiose ideas that I'm not sure if I can pull off. Because the thing is, I got to do the show so the audience can see and hear it right in front of me. Those of you who are attending ecom, and then those of you who aren't attending can watch it live on YouTube. And so I got some crazy ideas. We're talking costume changes, set changes, but I got to do it quick because it's all live happening within an hour. So I got some ideas. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, 
John Lawson is talking about where's John's name. Uh, uh, he's going to be on a panel. It's going to be me and Chris in the panel. So me and Chris and Peter Kearns are on the panel. Uh, Peter uh, is going to be talking about Amazon. A good friend of all of ours, uh, Chris and Rich and I and I, Robin Johnson, she wrote the book Accidental Entrepreneur. She's going to be there talking about Amazon. Uh, Cliff Enico, who we talked about earlier, he is there talking about the legal part of e-commerce. If you've seen Cliff talk before, he used to be very dry and boring. It is a boring subject. Dude's on fire nowadays. Like He heard John and I talk, and he's like, I can even be crazier than that. And it's, it's amazing. So you're going to learn... <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna get your learning in for what you need to know to be to to protect yourself from the legal end of this business. The most boring part, look, designing shirts, that's fun. Buying stuff, that's fun. Making sure your shit's correct with your LLC, that ain't real fun, but you gotta do it. You got you know, when you you gotta come correct. Uh so who else is gonna be there? Chris, Chris is talking about merch. So if you can't get to Seattle, get to Chicago. Uh <clears throat> who else we got? Oh, then then. Then the day before, they're at the third day at ecom event, and the vendors get to spend the day with you and demonstrate their products. So if you don't fully understand how stamps.com works or WorthPoint works or merch or inventory lab, they will have slots to tell you all about their products. So they're basically getting a 45-minute commercial, but their commercial is, here, everyone, here's how to make this product work for your business, and here's what's cool. Lean in. This is the cool part. eBay and FedEx are part of the event. Boom. Those are some big ass companies coming to a little event in Chicago. eBay's bringing some employees. They're talking about promoted listings. They're doing a code thing with uh, Kathy Terrell. They're going to be talking about their stuff on the uh, vendor day. FedEx is coming. These are all things that we use every day for our business, and they're there to help you. So it's going to be awesome. Rich, you guys want to add something to that? Let's see how you sound. Well, I, I did some adjustments here. Is that any better? Right this second it is. Kind of weird because I got a full um, full setup for the, the internet here, so and I'm, I've got nothing else running, so I apologize. But um, at any rate, yeah, no, the the what uh, some of the things my wife could go over what, what's included. Is it is it okay still or? Oh yeah, keep going. Don't stop. <laughs> so what's included? We have we have uh, breakfast, Danish coffee, uh, stations in the morning. If we have lunch is included each day. Uh, there'll be um, here, uh, uh, freshly made deli sandwiches and homemade. There's going to be different choices each day. Uh, vegetarian will be included. And um, we also have a lot of restaurants in the area. So if somebody doesn't want the deli sandwich and they want to order out or go to a restaurant, they can go and, and check those out. We also have on Friday night, we have uh, our karaoke party that we've run for, this will be the fourth time. So we will have a DJ doing that. We, we look forward to having all those wonderful voices that are out there singing. Um, and maybe Rich will even do his Just a Gigolo uh, among other <laughs> people doing their numbers. So uh, we're looking forward to that. So that's some of the things uh, we'll also have with the karaoke party. We'll have um, free appetizers. Uh, we'll have a cash bar. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, let, me, let, me, one, let me, oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Rich, yeah. I had on that I forget, we, we forgot about the meet and greet on Thursday night. Oh, yeah. uh, we all meet at Real Time Sports, and I'm, I'm amazed at all of the speakers and the people that get together at that event. That's kind of just whoever shows up can show up. You're on your own as far as food goes, but what an awesome event to be able to talk to some of the people that you, uh, you don't realize that you're going to ever network with, and um, everybody's there to share their knowledge, and it's always been good. And last year we had a cards game on, so we're hoping again. So let me uh, let me point out one picture. This is from the ecom website, uh, 
Aaron Bixel's picture is so damn cute and adorable in the upper right hand corner. It's like she was surprised her picture was being taken. I'm like, oh my! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I know Aaron, but I cannot wait to meet her because I love that picture. It makes me smile every time I go to the website. Yeah. Oh, you know, it could be a microphone issue uh, with you guys, but we, we 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 heard it all. But here's the great thing about the event, and uh, you know, we we try to talk Lindy into coming. She was like, oh, I got kids. I don't know. It's cool is because we're in the hotel and then connected to the hotel is the conference center. So you don't even have to go outside. Right outside, about seven steps to the right is a sports bar. That's where we hang out after the event is over and drink and have some food and, and, and kibitz. And then about seven steps to the left of the hotel is an Italian restaurant. We also hang out at. That's where the karaoke, well, the karaoke party is now the conference center. But we also go to there for dinner. So if you don't want to go and see any rest of the part of the city, you don't have to move too far. It's like 15 feet this way and that way the whole weekend. So nice and easy. But I always throw a tiki party, and we're and there's a new a new bar in town that I just found out about today. So stay tuned for the tiki party shenanigans. So uh, let's let's give let's give away uh, some uh, some passes, shall we? So I didn't show Chris's website. I forgot. So here is the merch world website. Now his is coming up quick. So if you're going to participate, obviously, please be able to go to Seattle or Chicago. Please don't, you know, jump in to win if you can't go. Because we've had that problem before, Lindy. I had people win, and then they won, and they went, oh, I can't go to Chicago. Well, ding a -ling, why did you play? Like, what? You win something. It's always fun to win. I, and I appreciate that. <laughs> it doesn't do any good to win and not go. There's yeah. no cash value of the ticket. <laughs> well, and, and just to ask to that is that if somebody wins and I have we run the event or whatever we have to pay for you at the at the venue so it, it doesn't really help us at all when I, I'd rather have somebody that can attend and I, I so you know it's just like uh, I always tell it's like setting up a wedding so uh, if you don't yeah. show up for wedding people <laughs> hey and I uh, I completely feel you. I just threw an event for my secret beach and 20 RSVPs who said they were coming didn't come. So I feel you. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Everyone get your fingers ready. We're going to do Chicago. Uh, we're going to do Seattle first and then Chicago second. So uh, pay attention. All right. <clears throat> you got to be in the chat. So you hopefully you're there right now. There will <laughs> never, whether you win or not, guys. It's very unlikely there will be another event like what we're doing in Seattle. Very unlikely that we will have the same guests in the same place at this same price point. Not that I'm trying to like sell you tickets. I want you guys to win, but if you don't win and want to go, 295 is way, way too low for the caliber of this conference. That's no stock photo on there. That's the real place where we're hosting the event. We got $20 million licensed apparel sellers. We've got the best of the best when it comes to print on demand and merch by Amazon. I'm thrilled with the lineup that we have. And I almost think because it's underpriced, people are like, oh, you know, how good can it be for two ninety five? dollars Like, it'll be so good. If you miss it, you it won't happen again. It won't be like, oh, I'll go to the next one. They're probably not going to be a next one. So hard to get these people together in one place. We pulled it off this time. So if you want to go, try to win the ticket. But if you don't, that two ninety five ticket to get in, it's not it's underpriced for what you're getting, I promise. I would have been there for sure, but I am on vacation. All right, here's the deal. If you can go to Seattle, March uh, March. Whoa, where'd that come from? <laughs> September sixth and seventh. I just lost like half a year. I don't know what happened there. <clears throat> I want you to write when I tell you to, don't start yet, because you'll be disqualified. I want you to write the word Seattle in the chat. You're going to get 15 seconds to write the word Seattle. At the end of that 15 seconds, I'll type the word stop. I will copy every single person's name who just said Seattle. I'm going to throw it in a quick spreadsheet over here so I'll know the numbers. Number, random number generator, I'll share it on the screen. And whatever random number that picks, you win. All right? So on your mark, get set. Type Seattle. You got 15 seconds to type the word Seattle in the chat to win a pass to Merch World thrown by Chris Green, and I've been to many Chris Green events. He throws some kick-ass events. You are going to get well more than your money's worth. And stop. So I'm going to type the word stop. If I can get my dang mouse to show up. So those of you who are still typing, you're actually getting a little bonus because you couldn't find my mouse. And stop. All right. So there we go.
All right, where is my first? All right, Lindy, why don't you uh, chat with our guests for a second while I get all this taken care of? Well, I don't know if I can talk. I feel like I have a knife like dug into my gut because I'm so sad that I can't go to Seattle. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, tell Chris how sad you are. <laughs> I'm so sad. And it would be even more awesome because my mother actually lives in Seattle. So, and normally I would just say, oh, don't worry, come the next one. But, you know, I'm, this isn't like some <laughs> sales pitch or so. Like, I, yeah. it, to me, it's very unlikely that we'll get this same lineup again. Um, and most likely, certainly not at this price point. Uh, well, if you just record the whole thing, which and we are, DVD, <laughs> then I'll be good. <laughs> we are right. recording it. There, there are some guests who will not allow us to record. Wink, Aww. wink. If you know what I mean, um, so we will record what we can and share what we can. We understand uh, that not you know not everybody can go. They have commitments. They have you know. We understand that. Um, yeah. It's always better in person. The, the relationships, like Jason said at the beginning, right. are right. They're just different when you meet in person. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a, an event right, of up? events. But we don't have Pretty karaoke winter, like Chicago. So, so as, as much as yeah. we're going to have in Seattle, I am going to be looking forward to karaoke in Chicago from now until then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we had, uh, we had 22 names, so there they are. So 1 through 22, so I got the random number generator. Minimum 1, maximum 22. And here we go. Eight. Bump it back here. Bill Weeder won. Oh, get out, Bill Weeder. <laughs> Congratulations, Bill. You have won a pass to Seattle. And Chris said he's given free hugs to the winner, too. <laughs> Extra hugs. All right. We are going to do the exact same thing, but this time, of course, and wait for it, because wait till I say start. Guess what I want you to write this time? Yes, Chicago. All right. For those of you ready to go on your mark and get set and write Seattle. Uh, Chicago. Sorry, Chicago. <laughs> I'll, I'll, let it go. I'll let it go a couple extra seconds. My bad. Whoops. <laughs> Chicago. Hey, Jay, you run an awesome event. <laughs> the end of the show, and I mixed it up. My bad. All right. I'll let it go. I'll let it go to 20 seconds, and then I'll call it here. Holy cow, that's a lot of Chicago. And stop. All right. Let me head over to the chat. <laughs> oh, everybody likes Chicago. What happened, what happened to Seattle? It's the middle of the country, and it's not to the end of October, so there's a little <laughs> bit more time and room. <laughs> I feel crushed over here. I was like, guys, this lineup is insane. Like, <laughs> It's got hey, a short notice thing. If I had to guess, it's a short notice thing. That's all it's got to be. Yeah, it is. You know, I'll that's I'll just in two weeks, right. Chris. So, yeah. Yeah, Rich. Uh, I was just going to say, instead of taking it away from the giveaways that you have, we'll be more than happy to uh, cover that from Ecom Direct. So uh, when we get done with this, they can email uh, us direct if you'd like. All righty. So here we go. Let me. Uh, all right. So let me talk to uh, talk to us about Chicago now. What do you think about coming to Chicago? It would be nice. It's just it's so hard for me to get away. It's so hard, but. I love the idea of it. We, it. We, we'll get a babysitter for you. <laughs> <laughs> just, just bring Benjamin with me. I'll just like I just put him in a backpack and bring him everywhere. That would be interesting. Absolutely. We we could get one of the girls at the bar to take care of him. <laughs> I don't know if that'll go over well. <laughs> but it's something I'll definitely see if I can use some gentle persuasion to uh, to go. But I don't know. It'd be it would be really really nice. It would be really nice to be able to go. How far are you from Chicago? Um, I think the last time I looked, it was like nine hours. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nothing. Our good yeah. friend Robin drives that every other week to Vegas from Sacramento. Oh wow! That would be a, yeah, that would be a thousand dollar Uber ride. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, real quick, the way every single person sees the chat is different. So the way I see it to the way you see it to the way Lindy sees it, it's always different. So when I grab that screen grab because I saw someone said my name wasn't there, after I click stop, I grabbed what I saw. So I could only grab what is there when I see it. All right, so here we go. We have, this time, yes, it was a little more popular, Chris. We have 63 names Whoa. Uh, on the chat. 
Let me let me share it here. My bad. There we go. 63 names on the chat. And so let me go over here. So one to 63. Bum, ba, da, da. And generate. And before I do this, I want to thank everyone for tuning in live tonight. Uh, I'm glad you guys all came in and, and checked out our guests. I want to thank my co-host, Lindy. It was a lot of fun hanging out with you yet again. And we will definitely hang out again in the future. You are a lot of fun. And I'll let you get a plug in here as soon as we pick this winner. But uh, we also have a discount code. If you don't win the Ecom Chicago event and you still want to go, it's a great deal. If you type in Tiki, T-I-K-I, -I, you save $20. Here is our winner. Ba -ba -da -da. 56. Yeah. Alexis, Alexis Aarons. I, I'm, I'm probably butchering your name, Alexis. I think I got Alexis right, but Alexis is the winner. Yeah, all right. So there we go. So I want to thank uh, I want to thank our guests. I want to thank Chris for actually giving away a, a pass. So we'll, we will get uh, them in touch with the winner. Uh, and I want to thank Rich and Nyla for a couple things for giving away. Uh, they gave away four passes. We've given away three so far. I got one more to give away and for uh, allowing us to give a discount to all you guys listening and in the Th secret beach and in the thrifting board, the $20 off. And thank you for having me as a speaker in the last three years. I thoroughly enjoy the event. It's such a great fun event. And uh, man, you haven't lived. You've seen Rich do karaoke. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you've got to show up for that. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey, Jay, thank you so much. Hey, you, you know, you saved that extra one. We, we will eat this one on our own, so you've got extras to give away, buddy. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, Chris wants to do Rock Lobster. All right, it's going to be epic. All right. So, Lindy, <laughs> what, Lindy, let everyone know where they can find you uh, on social media or anything, or anything you want to plug. Um, well, my name, Lindy Glenn. You can find me on YouTube, and you can find me on Instagram at – Lindy Glenn. It's nothing fancy. It's pretty simple, straightforward. But I'm on YouTube, and I'm on Instagram, and I'm fairly easy to get a hold of sometimes. I'm around. I'm around. <laughs> and that is L-I-N-D-E-Y-G-L-E-N-N. -N. Man, I should have put Prague in my beard today. It's a hot mess. What a mess. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, thank you, everyone. Now, if you're not aware, I'm going on vacation next week for two weeks, so there will be no shows. However, please stay tuned to this YouTube channel. Uh, I am thrifting my way across Europe, and uh, luckily I have a great team back here. Uh, so little love to my assistant who will be running the office and my dog sitter who will be staying here with my dog, Atocha. So we're, we're going to be thrifting across Europe. We're going to be popping in uh, through my social media. You can, you, you can find me all over the place. We do an Instagram. I'll definitely be doing live YouTubes. We're going to an all-night flea market in Lille, France. It goes from 2 p.m. on Saturday to 11 p.m. on Sunday. So, wow. And I am paying to have my phone be able to be used as normal. So I will be doing live YouTubes. I'll be doing Facebook Lives. I'll be doing all of it. So if you ever wondered what thrifting was like in Europe, you will be able to see it from four different countries. So we're going to be all over the place. And we are Tiki Bar hopping. I found some more. I think we're hitting about... Uh, about 15 tiki bars in 12 days in four countries. So if you love tiki and you want to see the tiki bars, stay tuned for that. So it'll be a lot of fun and shenanigans. But but before I leave, this Sunday, selling past your expiration date, being thrifty or 50 with my mom and I, uh, we're going to be talking uh, crap. I'm getting old. She gave me the subject we're talking about, and I forget. But we're talking about something. And I'm breaking it down. So if you're a little bit older or a little bit slower to things, I'm going to break it down and make it easy for you to understand. We're going to show Mom's Hall, Mom Sales of the Week. And uh, if you're in the Secret Beach, our webinar on promoted listing is tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. on the West Coast, 4 p.m. on the East Coast. All right. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, guests. Thank you, co-host. It was another wonderful show. I can't wait to see everybody in Chicago in October. Chris, good luck with your event. I'm so bummed I can't be there. Next time, plan events when I'm not on vacation, please. Definitely. <laughs> I will check with you before I, I book anything. <laughs> and mainly Thanks, because Chris. you throw kick-ass events. I want to be at your events. I, I always love your events. They are the best. And hey, Lindy, if you can work, Lindy, if you can work out uh, uh, Chicago, let us know. Uh, I'll make sure I save a spot for you in the Tiki Bus. Awesome. And thank you so much for asking me to co-host. I had a really good time. Oh, uh, you're, you're great. We'll do it again for sure. So thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. 
and we'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody.